The Boys is full of profanities and is not a child-friendly show. Ever since the sci-fi series premiered on Prime Video back in 2019, the show has earned a large following for its unique take on heroes and villains while becoming one of the most famous products that the streaming platform has to offer. In today's video, we are going to talk about the strict rules that the cast of The Boys must follow. Rule number three, be prepared for blood-filled scenes. During the filming of season two, some actors were covered in artificial blood for two weeks. According to Laz Alonzo, it took two hours to get them all covered in the red element, but they had to get retreated often between different takes. Quaid appeared to get the worst of it. He disclosed that he couldn't feel anything and flies and bees were extremely attracted to him in season one when he was splashed with blood. There used to be a time cut so he could move on to the next scene right away. But in season two, he had to stay in character for much longer while filming the scene. Sometimes it took weeks and Jack had the controversial pleasure of getting blood applied all over him every day. The whole cast and crew felt pretty sad during the filming of the whale scene. It was 100 degrees and the actors had to sit for two hours to film. However, no real life whales were hurt in the making of that crazy scene. Rule number two, wearing outfits with charm. Superheroes would not look great without their dresses, which is why it's not surprising that it takes a lot of time to build the perfect look. For instance, designer Laura Jean Shannon spent six months on Soldier Boy's dress, but the clothes don't only look amazing, but they also share a message. Well, it's generally fused into the fabric of the dresses that you have to look really carefully, but Homelander's costumes are made of a fabric structure that even Anthony Starr, who plays the leader of the Seven, had some problems with. However, the actor revealed that the padding in his clothes makes it very hot. There's also a system that allows cold water to pump through and tubes to cool the star down. In fact, it's the same technology that is used in race car driver suits. Anthony said it's pretty functional, but the issue is the battery pack has a loud motor, so we've got to take it off when we're shooting. The soup suit is so close that it makes the audience wonder how the actor gets into it. It turns out it took the designers eight months to figure out how to protect the zippers. However, putting it on and taking it off is still not an easy accomplishment. Just ask Erin Moriarty, who portrays Starlight. She disclosed that the toughest thing about being a soup on TV is going to the bathroom in her Starlight dress. It takes at least 25 minutes because it's very tight and her microphone makes the entire process even more difficult. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. Rule number one, defeat your fears. At the starting of season two, Starlight was bound to deliver an homage to Translucent at his cremation. The showrunner, Eric Kripke, wanted the song to be an Adele meets Celine Dion meets Whitney showstopper. The result was an over-the-top power ballad that never vanished, but Erin Moriarty wasn't pleased when she realized that she was supposed to actually perform it because she has the musical chops. He said singing in public is a source of great anxiety for her. When I found out I had to sing in episode one, I was allowed to curse in almost the bed Moriarty had never been in a recording studio before. So there was some concern about whether she'd be able to completely deliver, but the questions were crushed when the actress started recording. The boys composer, Christopher Leonard, shared that within minutes, she was totally acting the part and singing to the microphone as if she was Whitney Houston or Adele. Her performance influenced the show's creators so much that the musical number was later released on the show's soundtrack and it even got an official music video. However, let's get back to Jack Quaid in the second season. There's a scene where Billy Butcher commandeers a speedboat and finally crashes it into a whale. In real life, Carl Urban is a big fan of fishing and other outdoor activities and is a very skilled boat driver. So instead of trying to film a skilled driver on the boat, they decided to put Urban. Later, the production allowed Urban to drive and he had no problem launching the vessel across the water and jumping waves for real while filming. However, Quaid, who was raised in the Hollywood Hills, hadn't really ever been on a speedboat before showrunner Eric Kripke put him at the front of the boat, which is a pretty chilling place to be. 
It turns out that Urban had no idea that poor Jack was scared because Quaid was facing forward and he couldn't listen to him either because there was a helicopter shooting them and the sound of the engine was so wild that Carl realized when they stopped the boat, he saw that Jack was as white as a sheet. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!